quad curve equalizer is Sonar's per track EQ built into every audio track and bus as a pro channel module. Called the quad curve as it has four different modes that will result in four different curves from the same settings depending on mode. It's versatile, ergonomic, and sounds great. In common with all pro channel modules, it can be collapsed or shown by clicking on the icon. The power on off control is here too. It can be displayed in compact or full mode. Compact mode is selected from the inspector's display menu, accessed from the bottom of the inspector, and will hide most of the controls while still showing the plot. This can be helpful if the pro channel is too tall with everything showing. It can still be controlled in compact mode using the plot, as we will see shortly. The EQ plot resolution, by default, it's on auto and changes dynamically, but that setting can be changed in the inspector menu. Both resolution and compact mode respond to quick grouping, so changing all or selected tracks at once is possible. Hold down the control key while changing one of them. It's a six-band EQ. It has variable frequency, high and low pass filters switched on and off with the relevant switches. The cutoff frequency controls are just above the switches and range from 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The cutoff slope for both is also variable, changed using the controls adjacent to the frequency controls. Any changes made are shown in the EQ plot area. It has four peak or bell bands. The low and high bands can be independently changed into shelf type filters by switching the relevant switches. The four center bands are color coded. Red is low, yellow is for the low mids, green the higher mids, and blue the high band. These colors are reflected in the plot view and each band's curve is drawn in its relevant color. The bold white line indicates the overall EQ curve for all of the bands combined. The four peak filters can be turned on and off using the buttons just underneath the EQ plot. The frequency for each ranges from 20 Hz to 20 kHz, changed using the frequency control at the top of the band's controls. Hold down the shift key while adjusting a parameter for fine control of any of the EQ parameters. Exact values can also be entered directly by double-clicking in the value edit box beneath the relevant control. Q is fully adjustable as well, with the characteristics depending on the mode selected. There's up to 18 dB of cut or boost available adjusted using the gain control at the bottom of the band controls. Each of the four modes has a different characteristic. Pure is a transparent type that doesn't impart any character or color on the sound and produces a soft and gentle curve. E-Type mimics a vintage hardware unit with a constant Q. This allows a narrow Q at low gain, which makes the curve quite clinical. This can be especially useful on drums, for example. G-Type mimics a modern hardware unit with a dynamic Q. That makes for a more gentle Q curve, which is more subtle and musical than the E-Type. Hybrid is a combination of the E and G-Types. The curve is a gentle curve when boosting, but more clinical when cutting frequencies. The four peak filters can all be adjusted by click-dragging the colored nodes in the plot display. Turn each filter on or off by clicking on the relative node. If the node isn't visible while turned off, make sure the gain for that filter isn't at a setting that is out of range of the plot resolution. Click-drag a node left or right to change the filter frequency, and up or down to increase or decrease gain. Adjust the Q by holding down the Alt key while click-dragging up or down. Right click and drag will also adjust Q. All of the EQ controls can be quick grouped across multiple tracks by selecting the tracks to be edited and then hold down the control key while adjusting a control on one of the tracks. EQ settings can also be copied from one track to another. To do that, open the console view and control click and drag an EQ curve from one EQ plot to another. The quad curve EQ not only does it sound superb, but it's also quick to set up and tweak.